Thank you so much for watching our last episode and tuning in today. Here's some footage of me from the funeral. And please make sure you like and subscribe to YouTube, the podcast, and the website. You guys, summer is summering. I'm just kicking back, enjoying time with my friends. Uh, Lawler came in from New York, so I went to go I see was her. Today, and um, I was like, oh, yeah, we just enjoying life, enjoying <laughs> things that are happening, you know, you relaxing, and being present in the moment. Come here. Um, of course, Moreau was with me. I take her everywhere. She's such a sweet girl. That was cute. Uh, Lawler took some images of her on her camera. So So we just stayed out, smoked, the bowl was full, and just enjoyed each other's company. Um, I got to see her mom. I got to chat with her mom. Her mom is super cool. I see where she gets it from. Of course, I've been talking to my mom, and I've been connecting with my family as well. And I had a couple of fittings. Even though I was relaxing in the sun, because like I, I have, summer. you know, an outing to go to that's coming up. Um, as you guys saw, the roses before they're dying now. And I added some white roses around it. Those white roses came from the funeral. And I've been hanging out um, with my sister-in-law. And of course, here's Lawler again. We saw each other. I think she was here for a week, maybe a week and a half. And I saw her twice. But here's little Lawler for you. The bowl is full. Take some time to look at this footage that I took at the lake with Lawler after we smoked a blunt. It was a beautiful day. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. So enjoy these views for a little while. that responsibility to keep that going and understand why you're doing it because of joy so I, I think human joy is super important it doesn't come from computers it doesn't it just comes from belief you know acting making music all that stuff is believing in something that you maybe someone older doesn't truly believe but like when you see it in a child it makes you kind of believe it again you know because we forget how innocent and beautiful we were so I think, yeah, it's our responsibility to make magic again, because I think a lot of the shit that's happening now is bullshit. Yeah. This is pretty damn close. I mean, what is sexy? I'm not saying that sexy is something that you can find in the bottle, but <laughs> this is pretty damn close. This is okay, so I am still in the process of getting ready to move, and I have to go into my boxes to get like my work supplies and stuff so that I can make these vlogs. I can't wait to get moved into my new place so that I can set up like my lighting is all right everybody how are you how are you how are you this week i am getting ready for this party that is one sunday i am very excited about it um i'm excited because you know i'm finally like deciding that i want to go out in cleveland which is usually not my thing but you know i'm getting ready to leave so i figured out i'd go out and I am going out with some of my family, not friends. 
which is something really new. And I'm really excited about that. I just got my Dunkin'. And they had like the cutest little like purple donut called like the blueberry or blue powder, whatever it is, you guys can look it up. I'll, I'll, but it's, it's about to be a great day. I have to get some accessories. I'm gonna make this headband. I have to finish a uh, kimono and then I have to finish my outfit, of course. Um, not a heavy makeup day, bare-faced. I'm wearing a lot of my Decora accessories and stuff today. Extra large septum ring. It's a good day. Oh, stopped at Joann's, stopped at Macy's to get some earrings for one of the girls. And I just have to go home and finish up some garments at this point. But that's my day so far. Tune in so you guys can see the outfit of the day and all the other stuff that I have going on. And thanks for tuning in. My hair looks so crazy, y'all. It's raining, it's humid, and I just threw some water on it and did whatever. It'll be cuter later. And I'll do um, my first makeup video. Oh my God, oh my God. I love Big Mouth, I fucking love that show. I'm gonna need these necklaces to just stop playing with me right now. Yeah, but I stopped at Walgreens because I needed to get some like drugstore makeup because I don't like using my big stuff or like my Chanel or Sephora or like my Seven Deadly Stins palette or anything like that for just a regular go out. So I stopped at Walgreens. I'm about to eat my Dunkin' Donuts um, real quick and have my matcha latte and pee. <sighs> Took my last one. You know, I really love them kids because if I did not love my nephew, I would not give him my damn matcha latte. I ain't no damn loving that much in the world for somebody to give away their matcha. I'm also trying to make sure I don't have no breakouts too bad before the event. So I'm, I'm watching what I'm eating while I'm eating Dunkin' Donuts, right? Um, but yeah. Yeah, so I stopped finally. I've been thinking, I'm sitting here driving. I'm running here. Desperate for this damn. Get like some lashes. Mm. And it's so purple. Some more makeup. It's so purple and cute. For this weekend, mm -hmm. I had to go to Joann's and get it's adorable. some supplies for some of the clients that I'm and dressing here. for this event. I'm really looking forward to this because I haven't seen people from high school since I left in 2006. I haven't really been home. And to have the opportunity to like dress some friends and well basically family to dress some family it's really nice because you know I haven't been around and I just want to show them a little bit of love so showing them love by being able to dress them and make them look pretty feels really good to me so I'm excited about it I got fucking powder purple powder all over the place like I'm some little kid Ooh. When you wear super bright white and you kind of, uh, I can't be wearing white. I gotta get my teeth whitened. I got to. Look at that. Oh my God. Throw me away. Throw me away right now. That's what happens when you smoking weed, drinking coffee, drinking tea. You gotta get a, a different whitening toothpaste. Look, uh, you guys. Ugh. Mm, mm, mm. I'll probably get a whitening kit when I go in here, too. Because I can't have that. Lord knows I can't have that. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. This fucking black radiance is, like, really good. It's really good. And, y'all, I'm not even being sponsored for this shit. But let me tell you something. These color palettes and stuff like that are so good. I hate that this one has been opened already, but it is so good. Look at the 
range. This shit has range. I didn't open this, so don't call the police on me because I did not open this, but I just want to show y'all doing it with one hand, of course. Look at that. Look at the names. Well, I mean, not these, but like the other palette I just showed you. Paradise and stuff like that. Look at this. Colors, metallic colors that show up on your skin. And this is how the applicator look. And look at these prices. Prices, like I'm surprised that it's so much of this still here. Like somebody then tapped in for sure. And it's only one of those left, which I feel like that, that's the, that's the one. I feel like if I leave this, I'm gonna be upset. And they have finishing sprays and setting sprays. Like I am in love with Black Radiance. Um, it started because I bought one of these lipsticks like on a whim because I needed a color and I saw like a burgundy that I thought was cute and it ended up looking good on me and I ended up putting it on as blush as well. So if anybody has some feedback about Black Radiance, let me know what your experience has been so that we can talk about it. Alrighty. So I'm back at the house and I wanted to show you guys the earrings that I picked up for my cousin to style her look when she's wearing like my blouse and my pants that I designed um, here is the things that I purchased to make the headband for her I already had the some of the crystals the sequins and stuff like that but I went to Joann's to pick up this stuff and everything was on sale I want to say I got all of this for like five bucks and then the earrings were uh, $29.99 but they're on sale on macy's.com for 22 then i got 10 percent off because it was return earrings and then i used my um discount to get an additional three dollars off so it was 20 bucks here's the kimono that i'm still working on for, for um marista it's going to kill she's gonna look great Here's the fishnet kimono that I'm making for Marista's outfit for the weekend. Hey, took a quick break from stitching a headband, uh, did some styling for the headband look. And you can see the video here of what I did with the headband thus far. Um, I think going forward, going forward, headbands should come back in. I mean, they're in now, but I don't think they're being worn right. I think that you should be wearing them tilted forward, almost like a crown. I think that look is so much better. Um, I also need to do, finish the neckline of the fluorescent Fiori Soda that I have for the other client that I'm dressing for the event. And then... Um, a couple of other pieces that I'm creating because I couldn't find what I was looking for and I was gonna have to create these pieces anyway for the coming collection in September so I'm taking a break right now eating some sushi um, getting my energy up I'm about to uh, smoke this blunt real quick and it's hot you guys it's like super 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 hot today and I'm just in the window because I want all the light that I can get and natural light is the best light so it's good for sewing and I'm trying to sew as fast as I can with the sunlight then I have to finish my look which I only have like something really simple to do but I'm going to be sewing for the rest of the day today is the day before the event um and that's pretty much it so stay tuned If you're not eating your ginger and your wasabi with your sushi, you're being wasteful and you don't know what life about, basically. I have a new setup for like videos. So this will be the last time you see this black round. 
I'm at my desk and get dressed and show you how all the garments look on dress forms before I put them on the clients and dress them. So the pieces that I'm they're wearing, I'm wearing, are from the 2022 collection that's coming out in September. Uh, these looks are brand new. Um, and I think you'll start understanding my mood board a little more and where it's going and how it works and everything like that. But it's a fun collection. Um, I gave a sneak peek, but uh, of course, since then we've pivoted, we've grown, we knew what we wanted, but now we can see it clearly. And the collection has grown into something so beautiful and exactly what I wanted it to grow into. But like I said, the new setup um, for Backdrop will be up tomorrow. And then after this week, I have another client and she's going to this royal ball and I start on her garment and her consultation on Monday. Well, she's into anime and gaming and she's just a spectacular individual. So I, it's, I'm very honored to dress her. And then the other person is Rose, who she appears on my podcast actually this coming week. Uh, she came out with an album called The uh, Rose Show and she'll be wearing some pieces by me as well. So it's going to be a nice weekend and we're just gonna go out and have a good time and then you'll see everything when everyone's ready all right Day is pretty great. I'm with some fabulous, fabulous individuals, and I've had a great time. They look good. We set up some photo shoots for this week, so hopefully, you see that in my weekly vlog.
guys. I am vlogging and I am uh, finishing the night. I am currently in a rally starter. I know it's bad, no it's bad. But hey you guys, this is my look for today. Um, it was a great time with Ariana, also known as Rose, and Marista. Um, we took some amazing pictures. Um, I'm so sorry I did not do the um, get ready with me video, but you know what I'll do? I'll do uh, another video another time, but I had a full week. I had a great time. Uh, thank you to everyone that watched my last vlog. And I will show you guys some pictures at the end of this, of uh, photos of my outfit uh, tonight. And throughout the vlog, I'll show you also of the go see David Gully. Uh, he is a sunglasses um, eye frame, eye frame, the fuck? Uh, an eyewear designer, what is wrong with me? I'm tired. I had coffee just to get through the day, you guys. I am showing my age. Like, I can't be functional and get work done unless I drink coffee now. So, I don't know. And I'm not naked in the car. Just, you know. I had come out of my clothes just to get something to eat. Something sweet to drink. I know better. I'll do better, you guys. Hold me to it. But, um, yeah, I just uh, had a fantastic time. I just want to thank both of those ladies, Rose and Marista, for coming out. And Rose's episode of Atelier 1121 is coming out tomorrow. Hey, it's the morning after. I went to bed without twisting my hair, so there's that. But I got interrupted in the drive-thru because the queen needed to be taken care of. But I have my white backdrop now. I told you guys that was the last time you are going to see the other background by uh, my work desk so that's taken care of um it was a great time yesterday uh david gully's event was very nice i got his book it's very nice i'm gonna read it i'll give you guys an update um he also got engaged so c congratulations about that and um so he, and it was his birthday. It was three things. So it was his birthday, like a engagement thing and a, uh, a book release. So that is a busy man. So congratulations. Uh, I met his fiance, beautiful, beautiful woman. I'm sure they're, I'm sure they're going to be happy. I wish them all the best. Um, hung out with uh, Marista and Ariana, also known as Rose. And that was really good. That was really, really good. Um, I had a great time. It was simple. I'm not a going out type person, so the f it didn't last long. But <laughs> I got all the footage that I needed. Um, this is me, no makeup. I did. I, I was gonna do a makeup look, you guys. I'm sorry. I just, I didn't feel like it. On a brighter note, I um, opened this vintage bag that I wanted to pull out because I was gonna ask Ariana if she wanted to, um, I gotta stop calling her Ariana, Rose, if she wanted to wear it. And it had like my old oil spill. Um, sorry about that, my phone died. I am also running out of space, you guys. I have to, look, I dyed my hair just to test it out again. I was like this in college. I loved it. So I think I'm just gonna go all the way back again. It's a mood. But anyway, um, found a septum ring, uh, found a blunt, and hair's done. But I had a great time. Um, thank you for tuning into this YouTube episode. Thank you for everyone who's watched the last one. I am, well, that's that. Um, thank you again. And you can check out Rose's episode on Atelier 1121. Her podcast is coming out and marista's podcast was recorded last night and hers should be coming out this week as well uh you can listen to the podcast on apple podcast anchor and spotify podcast um and anywhere podcasts are streamed it's on like 13 platforms thanks as always and yes i am on a instagram break but i will be back very soon bye
The way people were staring while we were out, it was weird. And I have to remember like, my clothing designs aren't like everyone else's. And I have to remember that um, it's an elevated look. You know, it's for those goth fans, the uh, kawaii, Decora, Harajuku fans, those who like pinup, and everyone doesn't dress like that. So I have to remember that when people go out dressed in my clothes that, you know, we're gonna stop traffic. We had a moment where traffic was stopped behind us. It was surreal while we were taking some shots and I can just run a couple right here while I'm talking about it, but it was, it was really interesting. Um, a lot of compliments. Um, I saw some people I went to high school with that I haven't seen for a long time. Some people look exactly the same. Um, some people I couldn't even recognize, um, and that's a good thing. Um, but congratulations again to David Gully. So happy for him and all that he's doing. I'm sure writing that and publishing that book was not easy. So it was a really big accomplishment, and I'm thankful that I was able to make it to uh, just give you love and... Uh, good vibes and just blessings to you and your family your growing family of course um but yeah the <laughs> venue was a decent venue it was it was nice the air went out so it was fucking hot it was fucking hot in there uh we got there around like 5 36 that late shit it was started at three and <laughs> it was closing up when we got there but uh David didn't have an issue. Uh, the lady ended up letting us in. But uh, y'all hear my dog? Y'all hear my rug? Y'all, she be acting out. She be acting out. So, she probably wants some water. I'm a terrible mother. Oh my God. You, you need water? You thirsty? Yeah. All right, y'all. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the video. Okay. She was thirsty. Y'all, it's hot as fuck. It's hot as fuck in Cleveland. Sweating motherfucking bullets. As y'all can see, um, my video went out while I was in a drive-thru and I had business to take care of, of course. So I did that. Um, and then I just turned in for the night. Like I wasn't up long. I, try to get started on one of the videos, but I didn't feel like it. But I did set up a photo shoot with the girls this week. So I sh should be able to get that done. And this dog didn't waste no time getting in my laundry. She didn't waste no time. Not a millisecond. I'm glad you love me. I love you too. Anyway. So, how was that? No, just, <laughs> it was good. I don't really need you to tell me. So, we're going to do a shoot. started my design and wardrobe packages which is $600 a month subscription you get six pieces vintage custom accessories shoes all of the above to build your wardrobe and the things that you don't like you just send back and the things that you end up not wearing anymore you can send back and we just keep sending you stuff And that's going to be part of Aesthetic, the showroom that I'm opening up in New York. So if you are going to be in a New York area in September, get the New York Fashion Week's runway show tickets. And then the following week, the showroom opens up. So I hope to see you guys there. Um, but yeah, the package 
for the clothing that starts after the showroom opens so keep an eye on that and again the showroom in new york is called aesthetic and that's like with the at sign like at gmail but at e s t h edit <laughs> e-t-i-c y'all oh my god i'm not stupid y'all know damn well i'm not stupid i just had a fucking moment <laughs> and that's at aesthetic it's right here okay thank you ariana for thanks rose for smoking this out i appreciate that i had a good day it's not that fucking serious You know, I like the woman that I have become. It took me a long time from going from this to this. And whatever the fuck anyone has to say about me, I don't really give a shit. Because I've done the work. To deserve to do whatever the fuck I want. So... I left Baltimore. I'm in Cleveland now. I'll be moving to New York. Keep an eye out for that. I'll be doing blogs from now on. I'm going to let up on Instagram. Instagram is just to let you know it's a new YouTube video or about the shows or events, but I'm not going to be posting like that like crazy anymore. Unless it's following an event. Other than that, it's a fucking wrap. Instagram, Instagram is dead as fuck. TikTok, on the other hand, when I do decide to get...